In the sprawling landscapes of Mali, the Lulo Gunkoto mine stands not merely as an operation extracting treasures from the earth, but as a symbol of power and corruption. This massive gold mine, controlled by Mali's military junta, following their forceful ascent to power, vividly illustrates the entanglement of wealth and governance in the shadow of unrest. Annually, the Lulo Gunkoto complex produces about 683,000 ounces of gold. With gold prices hovering around $2,700 per ounce, the mine's output translates to nearly $1.84 billion each year. These staggering figures not only highlight the mine's economic significance, but also underscore its allure as a pivotal asset in Mali's national economy. The Junta's grip on this golden fortune is more than a matter of economic interest. It is a stark display of authoritarian control. The regime, marked by its opaque operations and strategic maneuvers, exemplifies how natural resources can be wielded as instruments of power. Under the Junta's rule, the mine becomes a cornerstone of their authority, funding their hold over the nation and enabling a tight reign on Mali's wealth. Corruption permeates the layers of management and governance surrounding the mine. This corruption isn't just about financial discrepancies. It's about the erosion of trust and integrity in institutions meant to manage Mali's richest natural resource. The implications are profound, affecting local communities who see little benefit from the wealth extracted from their lands and international stakeholders who navigate the complexities of investing in a region riddled with instability. Amidst these challenges, the global community watches and debates the ethics of resource extraction in such volatile environments. As technologies advance, there's hope for more transparency in tracing gold to its origins, aiming to ensure that such wealth does not fuel further conflict or oppression. This push for traceability is crucial, promising a future where the lineage of gold is clear and its procurement adheres to stringent ethical standards. The story of Lulo Gunkoto is a microcosm of the larger dynamics at play in the global gold market, a market that thrives on both the brilliance and the shadows of its past. The gold industry's complex web of influence spans across continents, embedding itself in various sectors of politics and economy, often with consequences that extend far beyond the immediate area of extraction. As we delve deeper into the narrative of the Lulo Gunkoto mine and Mali's troubled waters, let this documentary serve as a reminder of the enduring allure of gold and its complex role in world affairs. If you are captivated by the intriguing and often hidden dynamics of the gold industry, please support this channel. Like this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more insightful content that explores the intersections of gold, geopolitics, and global economics. Thank you for joining me on this journey to uncover the veiled truths of the gold mining world. Together, we'll continue to shed light on the sectors that shape our global economy and influence the tides of power across nations. Let's navigate the intricate and sometimes murky waters of the gold industry, revealing the stark realities and the shimmering potential of this age-old symbol of wealth.